He's missing. He is a part of Prolific Prep Center. He is signed now with Baylor and is now reclassified to be a part of Baylor basketball this year, not class of 2024. He joins us with Paul Craig, David Smoke on 365 Sports. Eves, you knew you were going to Baylor. You've made the decision to come early. Your thoughts about what this all means to you now that it's out of the way? I mean, it's just great for me not to be coming to Baylor next year and then get ready to get better with the rest of the team and uh, being good around the best, which is called Drew. So, just amazing. Is when did you start to feel like you were ready to reclassify, that you were physically ready, your game was ready, that you didn't need that extra year? I mean, whatever I moved from Cameroon to here, I just tried to, like, get used to the game. And after doing my first year at West Nottingham, moving out to Prolific to Ohio level high school basketball, I feel I was pretty dominant, and I think it was time for me to uh, announce that we were classified to the 23 class and then go to Baylor. So, Ezo, what was the reaction of the coaching staff when you guys started talking about this possibility? Were they all on board, and what was the conversations kind of like about what you coming in a year early would mean for everybody? I mean, everyone was pretty excited. I mean, I guess they also need the big man. So, me coming as a 23 was definitely um, a good opportunity for them. So, I think they took it in a, in a great way. We were pretty excited about it. So, that was good. Eve, your brother played four years at Harvard. They went to the NCAA tournament every year he was there. How much did his transition from where you were to where he was, excuse me, to where you are now, how much did that affect or at least help you understand the decision? I mean, I talk to him a lot. He's like my mentor. I talk to him every day. He knows a lot about college basketball and basketball in general. He gives me advice every day. So just seeing him, he's like a mother for me. So I was just trying to like be like him and try to be better than him if possible. So. Eves, by the way, you know, played in the Hoop Summit. Jacoby Walter played in the Hoop Summit. So did Miro Little. All three, of course, are at Baylor. It might have been the only college to have three players all playing in that uh, in that uh, hoop, hoop summit, who are a part of a class this year. That's a pretty big deal. Yeah. Um, how much? Um, how cool is it that you are also going to get to play on the team with a fellow countryman and Jonathan Chamo Cheshua? Uh, it's going to be amazing. It's someone who got that many experience with like going to the final for your national championship. It's just going to be amazing. Try to get better with him. So I'm just really excited about it. Your, uh, your coach, Mark Carter, told me, and this is just a quote from him, uh, Eves is a special, young, and truly blessed young man, and Baylor is, in fact, blessed to have him be a part of their school very, very soon. What does that mean when you hear that from your coach? I mean, it's amazing. Coach Mark is like, it's also one of my mentors. He was the first one, I mean, to, I mean, whenever I get to you, it's one of the first ones to talk to me. He helped me to get better every day. I play with him at the SC College now, so he just like means a lot. You played. You played on one of the uh, Nike teams, is that right? PSA Cardinals, is that correct? Yes, sir. And are they known to be perhaps one of the best ever Nike programs ever? Uh, I think so. They have they have a lot of NBA. I mean, NBA player who come up to the program, so I think they're probably up there. So you've been a part of, there's no question where you've been playing as a part of great competition, including where you've been at Prolific Prep Center, too. Sure. What do you or what has the Baylor coaching staff or anyone else, what have they said you need to work on the most between now and when you arrive on campus or when you arrive on campus? Because they're very, very good about developing talent. Uh, just the first Zoom I had with Baylor was just showing me uh, – uh, my strength of my game, also my weaknesses, to watch or improve, uh, also getting bigger, uh, be able to uh, control my body, the balance of my body, and work on the handle a little bit more. So every day, just trying to like help me get a little better by giving me some advices. So I be talking to Scott Drew almost every day. He be texting me about some to uh, improve on my game, or either Coach Jacobs or Coach AB, just coming up for everyone. So. So, uh, have you met Charlie Melton, the, uh, the, no. the strength and conditioning coach? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, good luck with that. I, I, met <laughs> <you>. <laughs> I met you on my I met you on my visit. I was like, Damn. whoa. Yeah, yeah. You look. Even though you haven't spent a lot of time with him, you're about to. Yeah, you're about. So. He's about to know you, right? <laughs> you're about to know him. But that you you welcome all that, correct? Yes, sir. Um, how important has your academics or from where you were in Cameroon to coming to the United States and your homework and academics, was it actually a more difficult um, curriculum where you were to when you arrived so that was a little bit of an easier transition? Uh, I would say middle because it was easier because the school was way easier. You don't have that many school, I mean, that many classes in Cameroon. I mean, you don't, you don't have that many classes in the U.S. compared to Cameroon. Cameroon mm -hmm. has almost like 20 different classes a year. And the difficult part was this thing, moving from uh, doing class in French to English. That was this thing, the biggest part. And I had to learn every day how to do some extra, extra classes, English classes with my teacher to be able to understand the language a little bit more. So that was definitely a difficult part. Eve's Missy, he's signed with Baylor, will play for Baylor this upcoming season. When you made the transition, um, you seemed to have a pretty good work ethic that made it not easy, but you were able to understand the adjustment and adaptation. How much, where did you learn that from? Where did, where did that come into your system? Uh, my brother, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. I mean, he did the same thing. He moved from the U.S. whenever he was, I think, 15. So he just gave me some advice to uh, be open to being coachable and try to learn every day. Just trying to adapt yourself in different type of environment. So that's the that's the thing from him. Also, my dad. So. Jacoby and Miro are a part of this same class. They've already signed. You've now signed. How much have you shared information? I know you were at that hoop summit. How much have you guys talked about bringing the heat when you get here to Baylor and also the Big Twelve? I feel like we are excited to play here and then and just like be on campus with everyone else with the rest of the team. I had a pretty much good relationship with them. It was pretty good being with them the whole summit. It was a different environment. It was it was definitely amazing. Born in Belgium, family from Cameroon. Now he's a part of, of course, the United States and also will be a part of Baylor basketball with Coach Drew. We mentioned Jake as AB and others that are a part of the staff as well. Um, didn't Joel Embiid come from Cameroon? Yes, sir. How much? MVP. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yes, he did. He, he be, uh, beat the Joker out this year. After two years, he was the MVP. Did you ever get a chance to uh, watch him? I know he's been a part of the NBA, but is that someone that you look up to? Have you ever met him? Oh, yes. Uh, I definitely already met him last year. I think he invited to one of his games. I had the opportunity to talk to him after the game for like almost 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour. So it was definitely great. No, it's definitely someone I'm looking up to. Is what I think he's the only uh, Cameroonian player to get an MVP award. So it's definitely amazing that I had the opportunity to just talk to him. It was just a, just amazing experience. I have one more question for you. How much have you learned? How much giving your body and mind rest, learning how to rest that that maybe was something that you weren't getting enough of when you maybe I don't know if it was a year or two ago, but when you were trying to do what you do? Uh, how much rest? I don't really know. I'm just trying to, like, get better every day and try to improve myself. But I'm definitely trying to rest whenever I get some time, especially the, uh, during the off-season. But just trying to find the balance between working out and then resting. By the way, anyone who doesn't get enough rest, it doesn't matter who you are, you can get pretty grumpy, right, if you don't get enough sleep? Yeah. And I think I'm still growing, so I, I definitely need to get some sleep. <laughs> all right, so when do you arrive? When do you get to campus? In June? When, when does that all start for you? Uh, I think it will be in June. Baylor fans are excited, Eves. They're looking for players. They have the, Obviously, they have players that might end up in the NBA. They're waiting for decisions on Adam Flagler and Jalen Bridges. Was that something that was discussed much when you decided to, to come a year early? Oh, uh, yeah. This is be around those guys and then get better out of this. I definitely think that he would definitely, I mean, help me to improve myself and maybe become an NBA player one day. So it'd be great. That's definitely one of the reasons too.
That would be great. Maybe Embiid can hand you that trophy. Who knows, right, at, at some point no. down the road. <laughs> Eves, it's great to have you on the show. We appreciate your time today, and congratulations. We appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Eves Missy from Prolific Prep Center, signed with Baylor.